bravo. Bra freaking bro. This, this is what I like to call comic book accuracy at its finest degree. This, this is a comic book accurate character. This is exactly what I wanted Brainiac to look like in a live action movie or TV show. This is how you do a live action Brainiac. Not whatever Supergirl did with Brainiac 5. No, 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 no. Delete that from your mind, people. Delete that from your mind. That, that is not a comic book accurate Brainiac at all. No, delete it. It's gone. It's history. Whoop, zzz, done. This, this is comic book accuracy at its finest. This is all I ever wanted in a Brainiac. Brainiac is one of my most favorite Superman villains, along with Darkseid and Bizarro and others. But Brainiac? Brainiac is one of my most favorite Superman villains. So to see such a beautifully comic book accurate version of him being put on to a television show, a television show was able to get Brainiac perfectly in terms of physicality. Supergirl couldn't even do that. Supergirl's Brainiac looks like, I can't show up a picture right now, but if you saw Supergirl's Brainiac, you would, God, you would literally sit there and think, that is not Brainiac, that is cosplay. And then you look at this Brainiac, this Brainiac, and automatically you're like, Supergirl ought to be ashamed of themselves for the shit that they made. Excuse my language, but they ought to be ashamed of what they made. Because if you saw that Brainiac, you would literally be thinking, how did they let that go? How did they decide that that would be a good idea? But you know what? I'm not going to talk about that much. I'm going to go back to how beautiful this Brainiac looks. This is the Brainiac that I have always wanted to see in a live action adaptation. Not only is he chilling to the frickin' bone at how he looks, but they even got the colors right. The green skin, the light purple, the light purple aura around him. It's all so Brainiac-like that, and I heard his voice. If you heard his voice in the trailer, God, this is just beautiful Brainiac comic book accuracy at its highest form. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I just can't stop looking at it. Like, I just cannot stop looking at this because it's so good. I have, I, now, now that I've seen this image, I have to see Krypton. I gotta see this film. I got to see, I have to see Brainiac. I have to see Brainiac, and I also have to see the other things that are going on in this TV show, in this sci-fi TV show of Superman's past. But, yo, I cannot say enough about this picture. I love this picture. And I love putting this picture right next to Henry Cavill's Superman, and they just play off each other so well that when I look at those two images together, I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, I I need to see this version of Brainiac in a Superman Man of Steel sequel. I have to. I don't know how, if they ever do bring Brainiac into the fold, how are they going to be able to top this in terms of his physical design 
for a Man of Steel sequel. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how. But, yo, this is the perfect Brainiac to me. This is the perfect Brainiac. There is no other Brainiac that I feel is as good as this. I would love to see this version of Brainiac show up on the big screen. Like, that would be a hallmark of superhero films. Ah, man. Uh, but anyway, um... Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm still distracted by it. It it distracts me so much. It just looks so good. And I'm going to keep saying it because it looks so good. But um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this geek out reaction of Brainiac. Um, I'm still super excited to see it. And, um, I hope you guys are excited, too. This actually makes me want to watch Krypton. I, I, like, I was kind of on the fence about it before, but now, now I gotta go watch it. I gotta see the first episode. I have to see how this turns out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the design. Do you think this Brainiac is probably the best Brainiac we've ever seen? Or do you think it could have been better? Do you think there were some things that they could have done better? For example, I think one thing that they could have done better, in my opinion, is that they add the Brainiac um, symbol on his forehead. But that's about it. But other than that, this is a great looking Brainiac. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it too. And I hope you're excited for the new... Um, Krypton series as much as I am and hopefully it's good. So thank you guys for watching Be sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later and <laughs> I Love it so much. I love it All right, that's enough for me. All right. Bye